nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Well, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen good We are morning. walking yeah, with Chuck morning. Yeah so we got a little bit of snow here last night and it's still a little chilly out here this morning, right? Uh, not too bad. It's a lot better than what we had over the weekend. Yeah. yeah it's supposed so. to warm up, right? Yeah, it's supposed to warm up. But what are we doing here? Uh, we're having a little breakfast at Burger King. Oh my, so let's yeah. go in and have us a breakfast. Well, let's keep hoping that this music in the background won't uh, kill our video. If it does, we might have to take it out, but uh, hey. Look at that, we got our uh, some breakfast here. And uh, hey, I'm having a Whopper. I'm not much of a breakfast guy for burgers and stuff, yeah. but uh, hey, we're gonna get to eating here. And uh, we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Here we go, guys and gals. We are leaving Clinton, Iowa. Yeah. Looks like it's a beautiful morning out here today. Nice and sunny. Absolutely gorgeous day out here today. And this seems to be one of the uh, famous bridge up here in Clinton, Iowa. This is the uh, river that Angie and Chuck, I see them uh, vlog way down there sometimes to the, to the left. We drove by there yesterday and they showed me uh, them uh, towers up there. The light towers and stuff like that. Crossing uh, here we are. Entering Illinois. Entering Illinois. Huh? That's right. We did have a little bit of snow there last night, so you see a little bit of loose snow there on my hood. That's where it comes from. Yeah. Well, luckily it didn't snow enough to where it's actually going to give us problems, but just a little light flurries, that's all. Now to try and keep the window clean so you can actually see out of the window, right? That's the plan anyways. Yeah, so we got uh, 10 miles to go and then we'll be at our delivery place. And we'll deliver this load and then go from there. Well, we do have a reload. We gotta go to Dismanois, Iowa. Pick up a low there and go to Toronto. Well, Brampton, Ontario, which is part of Toronto, but anyways. I don't know why the GPS doesn't want me to go down this uh, 84. Uh, it did the same thing last time already. I have to be careful I don't pass that 84. I want to go down the 84 this time. Last time I went up to 21. I went that way and... Uh, that was a bit of a narrow road. I don't uh, really like that road. So this time I'm gonna try and make sure that I go down 84. Cause I do see a lot of trucks come off of there. So definitely wanna go 84 today. So we'll continue on here and uh, we'll see what the day will bring us today. Well guys, we have just gotten unloaded. Yeah, now that was a good workout sweeping out that trailer because there was a ton of snow in there. So I probably had to sweep out the trailer five times to get the snow out of there. Now we got to go back on this uh, narrow road for about five miles and then we hit that 84 again and that takes us right down to I-80. And then we'll uh, go down to I-80 and uh, head towards uh, Dismanois. Yeah, we got uh, 195 miles to go. So GPS says we should be there around 2.30. We have to be there by 3.30 to get loaded today. So that's good. We'll be there on time. If nothing goes wrong, you know. So that's fantastic. Oh, I'm just sweating.
thing though. On the good work out there, sweeping out the trailer. <laughs> Man, I have to push a lot of snow out of that trailer. Speed limit reduced ahead. Well, we did it. That's all that matters. Looking pretty good inside that trailer right now, so luckily it's not wet. So that's good. Yeah, so let's get on down the road and uh, once we get on that interstate, put the hammer down and make her towards the Desmonois. Well, I am cruising along I-80. That's right. And you know what that means? If I'm on I-80 and I'm in Iowa, what does that mean? That means that there is an Iowa 80 truck stop. <laughs> Supposedly the world's largest truck stop. Yeah. I went by it there uh, quite a bit ago already. Matter of fact, uh, it's probably been two hours ago since I went by it, or almost two hours ago I went by it. So uh, we are heading westbound right now to Des Moines, Iowa. Pick up my load. Only got about 35 more miles to go. And then we'll be over there. Hopefully they can get me uh, loaded there real quick, in and out. And if that's the case, my plan is to go back to I-80. That's right. That is my plan. And hopefully that will work out for me. If that's the case, I'm going to be able to show you uh, I-80 truck stop again. Yeah, it's always uh, interesting going around and showing you guys I-80 truck stop, you know? That makes for a good, interesting show, for my opinion. Because they got so much stuff in there, they got a couple of semi-trucks in there, and the whole building there has a show trucks. Beautiful. Very big truck stop, that's for sure. I just wish one of these days that I could get there on time to go into the museum. They got a museum up there as well. I've never been able to uh, go in there when it's actually open. It only opens, I think, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I think it's only open certain hours throughout that day. So uh, I've never been able to actually go in there. I, I guess I could have done it this time, probably, if I would have stopped there earlier. But I didn't want to waste any time because I need to be at my uh, pickup no later than 3.30. And it's going to be 2.30 by the time I get there. So... Uh, if I wasted any time in there, that would have been too late for my pickup, and I didn't want that to happen, so... Well, there must be something going on, everybody's moving over, so... I guess I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna move over. Gotta be something there on the shoulder. Yeah, there it is. Emchnalze! Yeah, that's what we say in German. Emchnalze got himself a capture. Oh no, he doesn't. He, uh, I guess he just parked her on the street on the side there. I guess he had gotten himself a capture and uh, he had let him go. I guess he was just doing his paperwork. Yeah, so now he put the hammer down. He's back on the road. But anyways, we'll go over to our pickup and uh, hopefully he can pick up our load real quick and turn her on and go back to I-80. Iowa 80 truck stop. That's right. Well, guys and gals, we have to go into a scale. Yeah, they're open, so. And then keep to the right in 300 feet. We have to go in and see what they want. That's right. I don't see no pre scale anywhere, though. No, it looked like they used to have one here, but. Doesn't look like they got one anymore. But, uh, yeah. Obey the sign. Alright. Or lane arrow. Alright. It says bypass. So I'm guessing they're focusing on them oversized guys. We're good to go to, to the keep bypass. To the right on I oh, that's fantastic. Keep to the left and I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. I can go around the bypass. In 700 feet, keep Why to not? the left on I-80. Yeah, look at that. It 
says exit. That's what we like to see. Yeah, that's right. Oh wow, they got a few multi counties in there. Whoa, like three, four cop cars in there, eh? BOT cars. That's right. On this road well, for eight miles. They left us alone, so we're good to go. Well, let's put the hammer down. This is it, guys and gals. We have gotten loaded. That is right. And now we're going to start making our way toward Toronto. Yeah. I got loaded earlier than I thought I was going to get loaded. So we got out of there by 3.30 this afternoon. Half an hour earlier than I originally thought that I was going to get out of there. So that's fantastic news. Now I'm just going to have to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to be stopping at the Iowa 80 truck stop or not. I really would like to, but I also at the same time I wouldn't mind uh, getting into Toronto for tomorrow night. That would be something I, uh, I am very interested in doing too. That means tomorrow night I could go to Master Stay. Yeah, that would be awesome if I could do that tomorrow night, you know. Then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens, but uh, that would be fantastic if I could do that. I got 810 miles to go. So if I do about 150 miles today, well, that is right around the uh, Iowa 80, I guess. So, yeah, then I think I could probably make it into Toronto tomorrow night. Yeah, I might just have to look into that and see what uh, what is going to happen. But 650 miles a day, I can do that. Especially in Canada, I can go even a little over 700. So, so yeah, I guess I could actually do it. I could actually do it. That's good. So, I think then we will just go up to Iowa 80. And then... Uh, I'll have my time off. Now it will be a good working day tomorrow. And then tomorrow night we'll be in Toronto. That would be so awesome. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. Yep. I'm just happy, happy, happy. This is a very good load. Quick reload. Very nice light load. Can't tell you though what it is. But uh, very nice load. I love it. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think we're going to make it happen. I think so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Iowa 80, fuel up, go find me a parking spot, go take me a shower. Today I have to have a shower. I was going to have a shower yesterday already, and then uh, that didn't work out. So, well, I guess I could have still had one at the end of the day, but... I was tired already and it felt like going to bed, so whatever, here we are. Speed limit reduced ahead. So let's get on down the road and see up to where we will make it actually, you know. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, look at this. We are at the Iowa 80, the largest truck stop in the world. At least that's what they claim, right? Yeah. Look at that. There's supposed to be a uh, enough parking here for a thousand trucks i would believe it too there's a bunch of trucks in here but anyways we're going to go inside and see what kind of goodies they have there well this is what you guys will see when you first walk into iowa 80. that's how i look that's a beautiful truck man too bad that's just a show truck hey eh? yep they got some seats over there in the back that's where they have all the goodies let's go take a look on what they got in the back they got all kinds of lights up here yeah look at that well, they use that as a warehouse oh yeah look at these lights that they got in here wow these are a type of aftermarket uh, volvo lights they look pretty cool never seen them like that before wow that's nice they're only like three $92.99 these are oh wow look at that that's cool man I've never seen that either 
It's another aftermarket uh, type of headlight. They're only 269. Wow, that's cheap. Wow, look at all the modern lights that they got here. See, that's the original light, eh? When you look down there, that's the original. That's the ones that I have, and those are aftermarket. These are all aftermarket lights. Wow, that's amazing. What kind of different type of headlights they got. All kinds of lights for different trucks. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go take a look. Well, guys, this is the famous Peterbilt. Yeah, I know I've shown this truck to you guys before, but I figured, well, let's just show it to you guys again. Doesn't look like it's turning today, though. They must be working on it or something. Yeah, look at that. Hey. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's a gorgeous truck. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's absolutely beautiful, don't you guys think? Yeah, look at this camera up here. Wow. That is, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Anyways, I think we're gonna go into the restaurant here pretty soon and we'll go have ourselves a bite to eat. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. This is the area where they have the real cowboy stuff. Take a look at that. I like them belt knuckles, whatever you want, want to call it. But yeah, look at that. That is a huge place. If you think that's all, there's more over there. You got the dairy cream over there, everything, the whole nine yard. Yeah, this is where they got that one car up there. They got another car down there. And they uh, got actually a car down here. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's how I look at it. Wow, look at this mirror up here. Eh? That's nice. Yeah. It is that time of the day where we have to eat. Look at that, we got the famous chicken alfredo that I love. Yeah, so let's get to eat. Well, it is that time of the day where we have to sh close the show. Yeah, and as you can see, we did have ourselves a shower, a much needed shower too. Yeah, it was way overdue for me in my opinion, but uh, we finally managed to get it. We filled up over here. We got us a shower, we had a bite to eat, did a little bit of walk around for you guys and uh, show you guys a little bit, not too much, you know, but I mean, I do have a video of this Iowa 80 uh, in my archive down anyways, you know, so uh, just search for Iowa 80 on uh, Trucker Rudy's channel and uh, you'll find it, it's in there. And uh, I do have more detailed or a little bit more of the actual truck stuff in there. But uh, yeah, so I figured on ah, this one, I'll just do a little quick walk around and show you at least a little bit of the truck stuff for those of you that are new to my channel. So uh, yeah, anyways, I am going to go ahead and edit up this video for you guys. And uh, we'll try and get it uploaded here soon. Because we are leaving the United States, so then I don't have no more internet. Well, I have internet on my phone, but I don't really like to use that. So, uh, let's get to it. So, be sure to stick around tomorrow, because we got some good shows coming up. So, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that sh uh, share button. And if you're new to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. So, if you did, we appreciate it. And uh, come and follow along with us. Uh, we have pretty much daily videos. The odd time you miss one, but uh, for the most part, we have uh, daily videos. So, uh, with that being said, have a good one, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down